Hello, I'm now in um, <clears throat> Ottawa. Ottawa in um, Canada. I doubt if I have a, I don't think I put this on YouTube. However, I'll keep going. I wrote this a while ago. I was up I was there, not here, there, at my kitchen sink. I can't, I've noticed my kitchen non-stick scourer had reached the end of its natural life when it comes to cleaning my tea mugs. So I started waffling on about it and so I decided in the end to write it down. So this is what I wrote down. Um, I read it once through once, so this isn't necessarily the final version, well it probably is even though it will have mistakes in it. So here it goes. I've titled it Ode to a Non-Stick Scourer. I was doing the washing up a couple of nights ago, mainly my tea mugs, plus a few other random things. I couldn't help but notice I tend to let my tea mugs all need washing at the same time to save on water. I'm very environmentally friendly, occasionally. I couldn't help but notice that the non-stick scour I was using was not being as effective as it had been at removing the tea marks from the mugs. I had a look at it, and it was clear that it had become too clogged up with dirt to be able to function effectively anymore. This was even more apparent, I wrote this, this was even more apparent, well, I don't know, this was even more apparent when I compared it with one of the new scours I had stored under the sink. It wasn't so much a case of getting a new one out to compare, to be honest, it was more that I was checking that I actually had a new one before I relegated the other one to sink cleaning duty. i better explain. I don't immediately throw away a non-stick scour that's become ineffective at cleaning my tea mugs. Before it finally gets thrown away, it replaces the non-stick scour that I previously used to clean my tea mugs which then became the non-stick scourer that I used to clean my sinks. I did also compare the non-stick scourer that I was using to clean my tea mugs against the non-stick scourer that used to be used to clean my tea mugs, which I was now using to clean my sink, and it was still healthier than that. It was still cleaner than that, so it was clear that it was going to replace the non-stick scourer that I was using to clean my sink. So to summarise, Three nonstick scourers, brand new one. One I was using to clean my tea mugs, and the one I was using to clean my sink with. It was obviously dirtier than the new one, but I had to compare it with the one I was using to clean my sink, just in case, because you never know. Could have been gone. Could have got so dirty it was even worse than the one I was using to clean the sink with, but it wasn't. So that's that clarified. I thought only fair to explain to the scourer that although I've enjoyed our time together and that it had been very useful at removing the tea stains from my mugs, that I could clearly see that it was no longer up to the job. I said, we'll have to face reality and recognise there will come a time when we can no longer perform to the same high level as we once did. Look at me like that. I would have loved to have kept you on, I said. I feel we've become quite closer over these last few months. However, I said, you can see from this mug, which hasn't been cleaned properly, in spite of my best efforts, that you are no longer up to the job. It did of course soften the blow for it, there was still a role for it cleaning the sinks. I haven't yet thought of a role for an on-six gar, which is no longer required to clean my sinks. So with a slightly heavy heart, I threw it in the bin. So to summarise, again, I now have a brand new non-stick scourer to clean my tea mugs with and a new used, slightly grubby non-stick scourer for cleaning my kitchen sink. That's not true, true anymore because I decided I would post the non-stick scourer to someone as a present. I know. I did find, sadly, after I did that, I found another use for the nonsense scour which I'd thrown in the bin. It was quite useful to clean the floor. However, I'd thrown it in the bin, so that was that. 
In spite of that, I also thought there were some other possible uses for it after it was no longer useful cleaning my kitchen sink. So these are the ideas I had. Never been on YouTube. As a fascinator at those posh horse racing events, I have seen worse. To offset a buttock, which you've noticed, means that you sit at an uncomfortable angle. To give your headlights a good clean first thing of the morning. To stop birds, this isn't an exhaustive list. Exhausting, not exhaustive. To stop birds from perching on your car aerial. To quieten your pickaxe. To use as a brake on your 80s roller skates. To ensure a gentle, if possibly dirty, handshake. To create a Klingon frang. There's a couple more. To use as a ear defender and a dumb and a bass do. I'd say dumb. And finally, to get that extra bit of yardage out of your driver with all the screws in that if you screw it one way you still duff it and if you screw it the other way you still duff it. So that's that. I haven't even got a cup of tea either or coffee. Goodbye.